Hey there, everybody! It's Amanda. How's it going? And believe it or not, I am back with yet another Dragon Ball toy review. Um, today I've got something very special to show you, actually. Um, it's not something that I've never shown on this channel before, however. Um, years and years and years ago, really right around the time I first started this channel, um, I did make a video of these. But the camera that I used, you know, it was the, the er, fairly early days of YouTube, and the camera that I used was like from, you know, 1906. <laughs> it was just a terrible piece of shit. Uh, and it was really incapable of, of uh, showing these in any kind of uh, justice. Um, not that there's much justice to, you know, be served in showing these in any kind of nice way, because they really are fantastically horrible little figures. Um, but aside from being fantastically horrible little figures. They are incredibly rare, uh, terrible little figures. Um, so much so that um, uh, this is one of two little collection within my, collections within my larger Dragon Ball toy collection that I've never seen um, another collector uh, with at all in their in their collections. I've never seen another collector have any of these. Um, the only other, with with one exception, the only other collector I know that has even one of these um, is the same collector that I got this collection from. Uh, there was one of them that was perhaps a Krillin, perhaps not a Krillin. It was incredibly hard to tell. Um, but he was a Krillin collector. He probably had the largest collection of Krillin figures in the entire world, and that person, of course, was GQ Krillin. I'm not really sure what happened to him, but he was a great guy, had an amazing collection, and uh, he gave me these figures many, many years ago. I don't know anything about them, really, other than um, they might be from Thailand. Um, and they may or may not have originally come pa uh, packaged with some kind of food. What kind of food? I have no idea. Um, so yes, the video that I originally made about these years ago is long gone from this channel. I think it is still on the channel, technically, um, but I, you know, admit, put it on unlisted years ago, because it just, the video quality is so bad um, that it really didn't make any sense to keep it up. Um, and I recently also posted about these um, on a Facebook group that I really, really, really love um, called DBZ Vintage Collectors. Um, and this is an amazing group run by uh, Jeremy, great guy, and um, you know, the, like uh, you know, of of the newer you know face uh, or Dragon Ball collectors groups, um, this is really the one that's kind of uh, you know inspired me the most to kind of you know get it you know re interested in a lot of this old stuff. Um, and uh, I haven't posted on anything on there in a little while, um, but there was a period of time a couple months ago I was posting really quite a lot, and uh, yeah, this is an amazing place to find you know, really um, you know, awesome photos of just like really bizarre, uh, rare Dragon Ball toys. So I highly recommend it. I will post a uh, link below to the group. You know, you should definitely check it out if you like really weird, you know, vintage Dragon Ball toys. Um, so anyway, uh, and also in addition to that, I, you know, I, it was suggested on that group that maybe I should try to post a photo of these, um, you know, on an actual Thai uh, Dragon Ball collectors, you know, group on Facebook. And I did that. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, nobody uh, really seemed to know what what they were, what, what these are on that group either. So, um, you know, I've been trying now for about 10 years, <laughs> really, really quite like over 10 years, to find out any information at all about these figures. Um, you know, I when I say that like I'm one of the only collectors I've ever seen with any of them, I really don't mean to say that in any way to like gloat about it. Like I'd really, really, really love to find, um, you know, people that know wh what these are, um, you know, know what the entire series looks like, if there's any more figures in the line, um, and really can tell me anything about them at all. Um, so if you are such a person, <laughs> uh, please do contact me in any way at all. Please make a video. It would be, uh, I, you know, the most ideal showing off your collection of these little guys. And, uh, and yeah, please, please tell me about them. So let's just take a quick peek. Um, I, this is the bag that I originally um, was given them in, so I keep them in here just for safekeeping. Let's take a little peek in there just for now. See them? Yeah, so they're just they're just these strange little solid color figures uh, in these bizarre little poses. Um, this, believe it or not, is Yamcha. And, um, you know, this is one of the things that, you know, I just got this new, um, you know, 4K badass Sony camera. Um, 
And when I bought the camera, like, these figures were one of the first things that popped into my mind, like, all right, now that I actually have good camera equipment, um, you know, it's really time to show these off in, um, in better detail, because I've never really photographed them well or, or anything. And, um, yeah, I mean, see, for me, <laughs> these are like, the, these are amazing, like, I love these figures so much, I can't even tell you, because I like, you know, really, really bizarre hideous Dragon Ball toys. Those are the kind of Dragon Ball toys that I most believe in. <laughs> um, and boy do these fit that bill. I mean, these are just so bad. Um, I mean, they're they're downright nasty looking, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it, I mean, in these, the two that I've just shown, I mean, this is Tien, I think, anyway, because he's got the third eye, so it's probably Tien. Um, you know, I mean, these these two are are two of the more normal looking ones. Um, but we'll definitely get to some that are not so normal looking, so there's Tian. I don't know how many colors, you know, these were originally released in. Again, I really just don't know anything. Um, I forget the name of this character, or kind of like w where he showed up um, in, in Dragon Ball. Um, but I, I know that he, I, maybe at the Tenkaichi B uh, Badokai, um, at some point, I just cannot remember. I'm sure somebody in the comments... Uh, can let me know. But, yeah, kind of, and, and that's the thing, too, is that, you know, in this series, it's like, you know, first of all, it's it's not Dragon Ball Z. It's 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 first series. It's Dragon Ball. So, um, you know, in addition to the weirdness and the rarity, you know, there's a couple of examples of um, some very weird characters, you know, getting, getting little toys. This is Oolong. Um, you know, again, not the rarest character to see a toy of in the world, but, um, very bizarre <laughs> Oolong figure, to be sure. Um, but yeah, like, you know, like this guy and several others, you know, there's just not too many Dragon Ball toys, period, um, of those characters. Okay, now this is, believe it or not, Guy Mao, or the Ox King, the thinnest Ox King <laughs> ever. <laughs> this is a Jenny Craig Ox King, basically. He's going on quite a diet. I wish he would tell me his secrets. Um, but yeah, I actually, I love, love, love this this uh, this little figure. It is just, you know, this is the most bizarre Ox King figure um, just in the world. I, I can't imagine there's another Ox King figure quite this bizarre. So yeah, that's an absolute treasure. Um, let's see who else we've got. Ah, I think I have two of these. I can't remember. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. This is actually Kami. Um, as part of the Mafuba, um, you know, scene, um, you know, when he's kind of like swirling, you know, in space, and that's why he's flat as a pancake, except for his feet, which is really funny. I don't think that he can actually stand. Ooh, I dropped them. Yeah, probably, especially not on this bouncy surface. Um, yeah, but this is, a this is of course, a, a very, very, very strange, um, little figure, because, you know, it's just, it's flat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is Mafuba. Um, Kami, I do believe anyway. Um, yeah, the detailing is actually not, you know, I mean, it's not that bad for what this figure is. I mean, it basically just looks like, um, <laughs> you know, like chewing gum that's been stepped on. Um, but, you know, not, not bad for what it is. Okay, who else we got? All right, uh, <clears throat> here is Muten Roshi, Master Roshi. And, um, yeah, not, I mean, you know. I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse. His, uh, his uh, shell is a little bit odd-shaped. Um, but yeah, not a, not a horrifically bad Master Roshi. Bad enough, but not terrible. Um, <clears throat> let's see who else we've got. This is uh, a rather, rather strange Chaozu. I, I love the pose that he's in, this sort of like strange dance pose. And I do love that they got like the little, you know, symbols, the insignias on the on the shirts and everything where where appropriate. So um now I've tried to keep these things in, you know, good condition. Um but I I have noticed like there's some I don't know if it's picking up on the camera at all, but there is some strange, you know, discoloration happening here and there. This is Piccolo Daimao. Um, pretty cool. Alright, I think we got one more. Yeah, I thought I had two of the Mafuba 
Kami, but I guess not. And this is a, another example of an extremely obscure character um, to receive a figure in this line. Again, I don't remember the name of this character, but it's like the warrior bear character that's um, in very early uh, issues of, um, or, you know, episodes of the original series. Um, you know, I know I know he fight, fights uh, Goku um, in a very early episode of the series. And, um, yeah, I mean, this is, what, one of two, three, four, uh, maybe, you know, figures of this character ever made. And, uh, you know, again, it's very, he's very thin, he's a very fat character, a fairly fat character in the, in the comic. So, um, you know, certainly, <laughs> of the very few figures, uh, that exist of this character, certainly the most bizarre. Um, and, you know, sadly, that's it. That's all I've got, is just this, this, you know, small little collection of these very, very, very strange little guys. And once again, I would absolutely love to uh, know anything that anybody out there might know about these guys. I love these figures. Um, I can't imagine that this is the full series. Um, surely, surely, um, you know, in a lineup with uh, characters this obscure, there must be a, a Goku somewhere out there. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I don't have um, the entire series and that there might be more out there. And again, if you know anything, uh, if you have them, uh, please contact me. Uh, please take photos, post them somewhere, um, or make a video, you know, show off uh, what you have. And, uh, yeah, I would, you know, very, very much hope that somebody might come forward with uh, more information because, once again, I love these little guys. They're bizarre as hell, and uh, they really are, you know, a, a, a treasured items in my Dragon Ball toy collection. Uh, and once again, yeah, this, these figures and uh, the one-inch Ultra Figus, you know, line. Those are two of the rarest um, series, if you want to call them that, of Dragon Ball toys ever. And um, yeah, just very strange, very, very interesting. What else can I possibly say? So, all the best. Bye for now. Um, I will be back with more Dragon Ball toy reviews when I can. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this look at these uh, possibly Thai um, strange little rubber Dragon Ball toys. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody is doing well. Take good care and um, more soon. All the best and bye for now, everybody. Have a good night.